Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Faithfully Asia and I'm back with another hair review. Dolls, today I'm really excited because I am reviewing my very first headband wig. Yeah, I know I'm real late to the party, but I was a little apprehensive at first as far as these headband wigs were concerned. That's why I haven't reviewed any yet. But when I saw this one, I was like, yo, <laughs> I have to have it. So today's video is sponsored by Curls Curls. And this is the box that the headband wig comes in. It also comes with a little pamphlet that tells you how to prepare the wig before installing it. And it comes with the headbands. You will have the option to add the headbands, pick what type of headbands you would like to order um, when you purchase this unit. Now, let me first show you what this unit looks like. Um, I did take some footage straight out the box and I'm gonna add that clip in here. So this is what the unit looks like straight out the package. As you can see, this is a kinky curly texture in 16 inches. Now you can try to put this unit on straight out the box. However, since this is human hair, I'm gonna treat it like I treat all my kinky curly human hair units and I'm going to co-wash it. First, you want to wet the hair. Now, I was trying not to get the inside of the unit wet um, just so it could dry faster. Um, however, you wanna make sure you saturate the hair with water first. And then I applied my favorite conditioner, the Ozzy Moist Conditioner, and I applied it all over the unit. Next, I went in with my Demon brush and I used the brush to detangle the unit. And I let the conditioner sit in the hair for about two to three minutes, and then I rinsed it with cold water. And then this is what it looked like um, once I was finished. And then I just continued to comb the hair out and then let it air dry. And now this is what the unit looks like. It is about 90% dry. It comes with this elastic band around the perimeter. It has the Velcros on both ends. Inside you'll have three combs, two on the side and one in the middle, as well as one comb in the back. And it also has an adjustable elastic band in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this unit on. One thing about these headband wigs is that they're supposed to be super easy wigs to install, very beginner friendly. If you know how to tie your shoes, you should be able to install it. Let's see. So now I just washed my hair. I didn't do anything to it. I really just put it in, I got like five braids, two, two, and one in the back. Um, now I do have 4C texture here. That's why I did pick this particular texture. They do have different textures. However, if this is not your hair texture, chances are they do have a texture that does match your hair texture. So if you wanna go for the super natural look, make sure you check out the website to match up to see which one fits you best. I believe I'm somewhere between a 4B, 4C. I'm for something, sometimes I feel like I'm 4Z um, <laughs> in some parts of my hair. But in any event, I'm gonna go ahead and try this unit on. I'm gonna fasten the hooks in the back and I'm gonna just slide this stocking cap back a little bit. I don't wanna put it too far back. Next, I'm gonna take this wig and then just put it on my head. So now I'm gonna turn around and let you see what the back look like. If you ain't hungry, stay out my kitchen now. I'm just gonna fasten this right here. And put it down. And I'm just gonna push it just a little bit back. <laughs> and already, this looks bomb, I love it. And I didn't even add the headband. So you can just wear it basically like this if you want. Um, I think I'm gonna take some of my edge control and just kinda sleek some of my baby hairs on the side. I'm really loving the fact that I don't have to use any glue to do this install. 
And one thing about Curls Curls is they are a factory store, which basically means that all the units are made in house. And they have mastered how to define curls. If you've seen any of their units before, you know their curls are very legit and very natural looking. And they use high quality hair while in the same time maintaining affordable pricing. I still own one of their lace units and hands down, this is still one of the most natural units in my collection. And be sure to stay tuned to the end. I do have a coupon code to save you guys a couple of dollars off your purchase. Okay, dolls. So, <laughs> is that it? Um, yeah. Uh, basically, I can go out the door just like this. I didn't even add the headbands, and I think this looks really good. I love this. I love this. Y'all, this is the first time I did my baby hairs for my natural hair in so long, I'm ashamed to say. I really just don't be bothering with my hair at all. This is so easy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, so let me actually try some of these headbands on for y'all because they sent me a lot. Okay, so the first headband I'm gonna try is actually a scarf. It's a really big scarf. It's really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this diagonally and then wrap it around. I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna cross it and then I'm gonna twist it. And then bring it to the back and just tie it. Now, you can look at, leave it like this. If you want to say wear it without showing any of your edges, you definitely could just put on the headband and cover your edges. If your edges are not, maybe if your edges are thinning and you just kind of don't want it to be exposed. As you can see, it still looks cute in my opinion. However, I'm gonna push it back just a little bit because I do want to show my baby hairs that I just created. And I feel like this just gives it a little bit more of a natural look. And wait, you gotta have the earrings when you're doing this, baby. Do you like? Do you like? Yes! See, the earrings just kind of set everything off, in my opinion. Y'all gotta get some earrings. When y'all get your headbands, make sure y'all pick up y'all some earrings, maybe from your local beauty supply store or somewhere, but you guys, you need to have the earrings because the earrings kind of like set everything off. And look at this. <laughs> Wig wear. <laughs> I know you ain't talking about me. <laughs> I am all natural. The natural people have not accepted me into the community. Even though I have permed ends, but you can't tell with this wig. And I dare somebody tell me that's not my hair. <laughs> now, nah, yeah, guys, I really love how this looks. This is so cute. Let me go ahead and turn around and let you see what it looks like from the back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna let you guys see what this unit looks like wet. Since I did mention this is about 90% dry. Um, and when I do that, I'm also show you different ways you can wear it. And I'm gonna try on maybe one or two more of the headbands. But she is, she's so cute. Let me see how else I could style this. I had to raise the camera. You could do a half up, half down with a bun. This is more like a messy bun. Or you could just wear it out. Now I'm gonna try it on using one of the other headbands. I don't have any hairpins. This would be better clipped up with hairpins than bobby pins, but this is kind of cute. Channeling my Marge Simpson. I could do it a lot neater if I had some hairpins, but I don't only have bobby pins. But you get the gist. Look at this curl pattern. 
beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm gonna try a different headband. Now this one is kind of like one of these like headband sleeves. So you just kind of roll it down. And put it around your neck. This is just a one ponytail, a high ponytail. I think this is cute. Okay, let me try one more hairstyle using one more of the headbands. This is like a half up, half down, but it's more tamed. And this is what this looks like. <laughs> She's cute. So dolls, everything that I use in this video will be listed in the description box down below. But guys, before we get out of here, y'all gonna need to help me name this unit. What are we gonna call her? She is so versatile and beginner friendly. I am in love. Go ahead and leave your name suggestions in the comment section down below. And I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed last week. The new name as well as the person who submitted that name will be listed right here. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. And as always important, until next time, you guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.